Avarice Portal. I want to tell you a story. In the heart of the quaint town of Thornwood, nestled within the dimly lit corners of a dusty old antique shop, there hung a cursed painting. Its origins were a mystery, a dark tale lost to the annals of time. The painting, known as the Avarice Portrait, was an unassuming work of art, depicting a tranquil countryside scene with a majestic oak tree at its centre. It was a crisp autumn morning when Laura, a young woman with a penchant for vintage curiosities, discovered the painting. She wandered into the antique shop while searching for unique decorations to furnish her new apartment. Her eyes were drawn to the painting's eerie allure and the shopkeeper, an elderly man with a glint of trepidation in his eyes, warned her of its dark reputation. Buy it at your own risk, he cautioned, but Laura's curiosity got the better of her and she left the store with the cursed painting under her arm. As soon as Laura hung the painting in her living room, its eerie charm began to seep into her soul. She couldn't put her finger on it, but something about the landscape was bewitching. The oak tree's leaves seemed to glisten with promises of endless riches, and the quaint cottages in the distance whispered tales of unending luxury. In the days that followed, Laura started to notice subtle changes within herself. She became more self-absorbed and materialistic, her once generous nature giving way to a relentless desire for wealth and power. Her obsession with money grew, leading her to manipulate friends and co-workers to gain financial advantage. Soon, she had alienated everyone who had ever cared about her. One evening, as Laura stared at the painting, entranced by the allure of endless wealth, she realised the truth. The cursed painting was changing her and she needed to break free from its malevolent grip. With great effort, she took the painting down from her wall, wrapped it in an old blanket and set out to find a way to rid herself of its curse. Her journey led her to a reclusive art historian named Dr Julian Blackwood, a man well-versed in the lore of cursed artworks. Dr Blackwood listened to Laura's story with a mixture of fascination and concern, then explained the painting's sinister history. The Avarice portrait had been painted by an artist named Lucius Greymore in the 19th century. Greymore, consumed by greed, had used a rare pigment infused with dark magic to create the painting. He intended it to be a reflection of his own desires, a way to siphon the Avarice from his soul. Little did he know that the painting would take on a life of its own, influencing anyone who gazed upon it to become more selfish and greedy. To break the curse, Dr Blackwood proposed a perilous plan. They would need to travel deep into the woods, find the ancient oak tree that inspired the cursed painting and perform a ritual to transfer the painting's malevolent energy back into the tree. It was a dangerous endeavour, but Laura was determined to free herself from the curse. Armed with knowledge, a few rare artefacts and an unwavering resolve, Laura and Dr Blackwood ventured into the woods. They reached the ancient oak tree and beneath its twisted branches they performed the ritual. As they chanted incantations and sprinkled enchanted dust, the painting's magic began to unravel and the curse lifted. The oak tree seemed to sigh with relief as the painting's dark aura dissipated and the cursed artwork crumbled to dust. Laura felt the change within herself as well, her heart lightening and her desire for wealth winning. Free from the painting's cursy, Laura returned to her old self, apologising to those she had wronged and rekindling the bonds of friendship and love that she had nearly lost. As for the cursed painting, it was no more, and its sinister influence was forever banished to the pages of history.